Okay, I said it's recording. So what do we have done? See, I have copied this one, this uh, the ticker symbol. See, as easy as uh, copy this one. Then we are here on the SEC Edgar. I have searched so company search. Then I just paste the SEC. Okay, search. See, we are here. So what I am going to do is there are many things over here. So I'm just clicking the first one. SEC. Okay. There are uh, different file types. So here I'm typing 10Q. 10Q is the quarterly file. Okay. Yes, you see there are many 10Qs. Many, uh, yeah. And they have started filing the 10Qs from the uh, year 2008. So our first task is to see, to check the first quarter of 2018. So here it is, right click, open in new tab, because we need to go back over there to all of them, so. And then I click on the first one, see, the 10 Q, uh, this one is amended by, is it, oh, this is, these are amended, so don't, Think about that. Uh, I'm clicking over here. Okay, so 10Q, HTM. Okay, we are on the 10Q. Okay, it's almost the same thing uh, as it is in annual report. So, Control F, Revenue Recognition. Okay, okay, if we search the Revenue Recognition, see. We find that this paragraph is important for this paragraph, okay? Hmm? Because it is saying revenue from contracts with customers, traffic six, six or six. That is what we are looking for. So we supersede the revenue recognition uh, requirements in ASC 605. Six See, before the 606, the revenue recognition rule was Revenue, revenue recognition, uh, ASC 6 or 5. So the core principle of this is to recognize revenue when promised goods and services are transferred to the customers in an amount that reflects the consideration that is expected to be received for those goods and services, uh, those kind of things, and see that what they're saying. The standard will be effective for the company beginning in fiscal 2019 and provides the option to adopt guidance on a full retrospective basis or modified. So what the company is saying. And see that they are actually planning. The company will continue to recognize revenue at a point in time, consolidated. And they are saying that they will begin from the uh, 2019. So let's go over here. So here on the first quarter, second quarter, they have not yet, see, they have not yet adopted. No, no, no. And let's see on the first quarter of 2019. Okay. Let's go to the 2019. So here is the first quarter of 2019, okay? 19, okay, you see, this is the 19. Hmm. So again, the 10Q HTM. And then, uh, Control F, Revenue Recognition. And they have actually said that the company's significant accounting policies are Detailed in note one, okay. So the following section includes revised accounting policies uh, related to the adoption of ASC 606, 
the company determines revenue. Uh, these five steps, we have already studied these in chapter six. So revenue is recognized on the control plan, but what they are doing and this section. Yeah. Okay, so we here it is. Hmm. This is the adoption of revenue recognition standards. So here you go. You will find that. Okay. Say they say we adopted on March 1, 2018, we adopted this one and the related amendments using the modified retrospective method. Okay. So you have some answers. You can do what you want. So actually March, so it should be second one. They have adopted from here. See? Okay. That may be one. So first one, this is good. So they have adopted over here. And they have I don't I don't know if it's just my line, my um, connection, but like you keep cutting in and out. Do you think you could kind of go over it one more time just so I can get what I missed? Because I didn't get okay. to hear like oh, what okay. you said. Okay. I mean, right. Okay. So what you need to look, see, adoption of revenue recognition standard. Okay. So they're saying, uh, can you read with okay. me? See, on March 1st, 2018, we adopted, meaning, uh, the revenue from contract with customers, topic 606, and the related amendments using, see, they're saying modified retrospective method, okay? So, okay. what I'm saying, see, since they are saying that they have adopted from the March 1st, 2018, so for all of these quarters, they have adopted, okay? Done? And what is the method they have adopted? Okay, the modified retrospective. Mm -hmm. Are you following me now? So okay. the method yeah. they have adopted is modified retrospective. So that is why it's a uh, yes over here. Uh, full retrospective, no. Okay. okay. Now let's see if they have any said they have said said anything on the impact of net income, retained earnings, revenue increase, or revenue decrease. Uh, we'll try to find something. And now. Uh, <laughs> According to standards, okay. However, for three and nine months and then November 30, 2018, the impact as opposed to did not result in a significant sales of the See what they are saying. They said that there was no significant change in the reported revenue or cost of revenue. Okay, so is there any? No, no. No, they said no significant difference, okay? Meaning, uh, impact on net income, no. Impact of written earnings, no. Revenue, no. Uh, decreased revenue, no. Because they said there is no significant change. Can you see that? Okay, so this one, and I just want to go back to the third quarter of the 2018 for this company again. So this is the third quarter of 2018. Revenue recognition. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, they are saying the adoption. Uh, this is what we are looking for. So again, they are saying, see. Mm, Continuing guidance did not result in a significant sense of revenue or cost of revenue, okay? They didn't see any uh, significant change in that. So we are done with uh, this one, this company. Okay, again, BTI. Let's see the BTI. So you click on the company charts, see? This is the company charts, okay? Company charts again. Uh, company charts, okay, just type or paste the BTI. Okay, that is uh, 
So you will find the name. So British American Tobacco, okay, BTI, British American Tobacco, what is that? So we should need the tobacco. You see, this is the acquisition layers. Let's see. No, this is there is no information. So that is why I have given more companies because some of the for some of the companies you, you will be missing the information. Uh, uh, BTI. Okay, let's forget about BDI. BMI. Badger Metal. BMI. Let's see. BMI. BMI. Yeah, this one. So, search again the 10 Q. Okay, so we'll start from the first quarter of 2018. Let's see the first quarter of 2018. Okay, the 10 Q revenue recognition. Mm, oh, yes, we have found this one. <coughs> they have started talking about the new law from here and I'm still there, okay? Okay, so this one. So there are many information over here and they are saying that effective January 1, the company adopted using, so they have started from the first quarter of C here is BMI, go to the BMI, yes. So they have started here. So since they have started from here, so all of these, all of these should be yes. Okay, but you're done with that. And what they have, what is the method they have used? They are saying modified retrospective, see? They are using the method modifying. Uh, okay, please follow the key to modify. And full retrospective, no. There is no full retrospective, okay? And what is the impact? So the impact, the company recorded net reduction in opening retail earnings of 0.1 million as of January, as a result of booking. And the decrease of 41,000 uh, revenue, okay? So, hmm, two things, retail earnings decrease. Net income, you say decrease, okay? Uh, this one is decrease. Revenue increase, no. Revenue decrease, yes. See that? This is how you will record all of this information. So, good luck. <laughs>